Shalom Yashrala. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakak Rash, the Barnash to the Apostles and others of Great Millstone, who rule well and who taught us his truth and salutations to the Akim, pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. This is the book of Daniel, chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, all right, which are Israelites. Again, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians today. All right, We are the 12 tribes of Israel collectively. You see, and also the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. Because we, we've been scattered to the four corners of the earth. So we have Israelites among all the other people, among all the other nations, you see. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. All right, Israelites we're talking about. Everyone that shall be found written in the book. So the elect are predestined for salvation. All right. And, you know, Jeremiah 50 and 33 says that we will be oppressed together here in Babylon, which is America. All right. That's where you find collectively all 12 tribes here. All right. There's going to be the greatest salvation coming out of America, man. You see? Verse 2, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some, of, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Right. All right. Hey, man, because, um, you know, some of the elect, all right, who believe the gospel, who did the work, all right, who feared the Lord, you know, they're going to be raised up, you see, incorruptible. And they're going to, when Yahweh Shai, our Lord and Savior, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh returns. Hey, those that have, have died in the faith are going to be the first ones risen up, man. They're going to return with Yahweh Shai. And us that are on the earth right now, alive here, hey, we're, we're going to be, uh, you know, we're going to meet them in the air, as the scripture says. All right, we're going to get beamed up out of here. You see? But all the other ones that scoffed and scorned, all right, that, that, that didn't believe our gospel, all right, that, that, that just talk shit, all right? That, that took, uh, you know, the side of Esau, Edom, instead of coming to the Lord and following the Lord and cleaving on to him. Hey, man, they're going to be a uh, contempt and everlasting shame or, or shame and everlasting contempt. You see, verse three, and they that be wise shall 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 shine as the brightness of the firmament. And they that turn many to righteousness as the stars forever and ever. You see. So it's going to be known who the Lord's chosen are in that day, man. All right? We're going to be standing out from everybody. All right? We're the ones that are through the power and will of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai and the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Hey, we're the ones, uh, you know, repairing the breaches, uh, closing the gaps, if you will. You see? All right? The, the house of David is being built be before everyone. All right, and we're turning many who who were once wicked to the knowledge, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, bringing them to salvation, man. You see, and this is all the the, the Lord's will, all right? Because hey, we were ordained to to bring forth this word, to teach it, all right, and uh, and you know by you know sowing the seed, a hey, man. The, the Lord gives the increase, man, and, and this, His word doesn't go back to him void. So it reaches uh, the ears of the elect and, and it wakes them up. Okay? Um, this is verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book. Even to the time of the end, many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. And, and we are at the end, you see? We are at the end. Remember, this is the book of Daniel. This is the Old Testament. Yahweh Shai came on the scene, right, in the New Testament, and he died on that cross without sin. First for his first for his own sins in the past, and for ours, man. All right? To bring us back to the Father. So he was that, that perfect, unblemished uh, sacrifice. You see? And he was the only one worthy to open up those seals. You know, you know, uh, his death, the way he died and everything. All right, without sin is why uh, we got this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding today, man. You see? And that's why knowledge is increasing so rapidly in, 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 at the end. 
you know, Esau Edom's kingdom is falling, man. And our people uh, just can't receive it, man, because, it, it, you know, it's just not for them. They actually hate us for telling them the truth. You see this, Amos chapter 5, verse 10. They hate him that rebuketh in the gate, and they abhor him that speaketh uprightly. All right? Because hey, we're, we're, we're following the old paths, you see? All right? We're following this blueprint Yahweh Shai gave us, man. Okay? And everybody else hates it, man. Because, hey, uh, the Lord said it, you know, when he was Solomon in uh, uh, Proverbs, the 8th chapter. He said, all they that hate me love death. You know, so the Lord's making a separation. You know, right now, uh, um, the the he, the Lord's seeking the true worshipers that, that worship Him in spirit and in truth, as the Scripture says. You know, and that's why we got to continue to push this word out, regardless if they uh, hear or forbear. You see, they're just getting marked. The elect are waking up, and the rest are being marked, man, for destruction. All right. Because they, hey, they don't want to hear this good news. This is the greatest news, all right, for our people, man. That we have a way out. That we that, that, that the most high God, the, 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 the creator of heaven and earth, is our father, okay? He's our power, man. You see? And none else. All right, these other heathens, these other nations don't matter, man. That's why, hey, we got to prophesy this word, you know, to the whole world, which... This word has gone to the four corners of the earth, man. And like Apostle Tahar says, you know, he believes the elect are sealed, man. Lord willing. All right? Because, hey, we're coming into a time like no other, like the, the Daniel, the Daniel 12 and 1 says, you know, a time like no other, man. All right? Great plagues are coming, man. All right? But guess what? Hey, guess what? Hey, th that's all for the wicked, though. That's all for the wicked, though. Okay? So that's why we 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 tell every we tell our people, hey, repent, turn back to Yahweh Bashim Shai, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You see, and the Lord's going to bring a reward. You know those that actually serve Him, all right, in truth and in spirit and righteousness and all, and those that don't are going to be judged as heathens, man, all right, because America is going to be destroyed and the land of Israel as well. You see, and in other places too, but. America is the main target, man. All right, this is Babylon the Great, the daughter of Babylon, and, and this predestined for destruction as written in the Bible. Okay, but nonetheless, our people have no excuse. All right, we've warned them. All right, multiple times they've come across the Hebrew Israelites. You see, but this is a this is Isaiah chapter thirty verse nine that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of Yahweh. You see. They don't want to hear the Bible. All right. The Bible is the law. It contains laws, statutes, and commandments for the Israelites. You know, again, which are you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians today, and also the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, Israelites that look like the other nations, like, like Justin Timberlake, like Bruce Lee. Okay. Blake Griffin, like uh, Blake Griffin's son. Okay. To give you some examples. You see, they don't want to hear it, man. Verse 10, which say to the seers, seers is, is another way of saying prophet. You know, the prophets were called seers back then. Which say to the seers, see not. And to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. Speak unto us smooth things. Prophesy the seats. So, you know, we're the, prophet, we're the prophets uh, back today. All right. And we're just bringing out the truth, man. But our people don't want to hear. They want to hear lies. All right, they want to hear things that feel good. They don't want to be corrected. All right, and they don't understand that the you know uh, being corrected is love, man. All right, and this word that we're speaking is from Yahweh Bashim Shai. We're the messenger. You see, the Lord's hand is extended out to His people, but two thirds are going to bat it away, man. All right, they're not going to change. That's why they must know it after death by pain. You know, in Second Ezra nine. All right. Uh, verse 10, uh, I'm sorry, verse 11, Isaiah 30 and 11. Get you out of the way, turn aside out of the path, cause the Holy One, Yahweh Shai, of Israel to cease from before us. You see, they don't want, they don't want nothing to do with the Lord, man. All right, they, they trust in, in oppression and idolatry. You see, 
Verse 12, Wherefore thus saith the Holy One of Israel, because ye despise this word, and trust in oppression and perverseness, and stay thereon, therefore this iniquity shall be to you as a breach ready to fall, swelling out in a high wall, whose breaking cometh suddenly at an instant. You see? So, hey, a time like no other is coming, man. And it's going to begin with the house of the Most High. All right? Uh, 1 Peter 4 and 17. You see? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, he already has his agenda laid out, man. He's coming for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians first. He's trying to wipe you off the face of the earth, man. Exterminate us. All right? He's the damn devil. You see? And don't get it twisted for, you know, new listeners, you know, if there's, a, you know, an Israel, I mean, like a so-called white person who believes what we're saying, you know, who believes in Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, all right, then he's an Israelite, man. Because look, the, the spirit beareth witness that we're the children of the Most High. You see, skin, uh, skin color is an indicator. It's not a definite, all right? But nonetheless, we got a, we got a, a job to do, man. All right, we got to push this word, whether they hear or forbear, man. They're the ones that are going to be salty. All right, we're the ones that are fully persuaded. We believe in this word. We believe in this truth. All right, we don't serve nobody else but Yahweh Bashem al We cry to the Lord day and night, man. We pray to him, all right, constantly, you know. As the scripture says, pray without ceasing, you see. But this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. It's all about Israel, the Israelites, man. That's it. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. Because look, the Lord hey, is, is not to not to be is not one to be played with, man. All right, the Lord is a man of war. He's an austere man. You understand? He don't fuck around. In, in Matthew 10 and 34, he says he's coming with a sword. He's not coming with peace. All right, and he's not going to meet Esau as a man. He's coming in his glory, man, full power. All right, and he's going to destroy Esau's kingdom in one hour, man. You see, because hey, the, the first time he destroyed this world, uh, uh, it was with the flood, with water. But this time it's going to be with fire, man. All right, that's why these other nations and countries, even America has them, you know, these nuclear warheads. Hey, those things are going to be shot from the ends of the world. And it's going to hit America, man. It's going to hit Israel too, but America's the main target. All right, the earth is going to rock to and fro like a drunkard, man. All right? Staggering, you know, just shaking in, you know, in space, man. That is some scary shit. You know, you ever been in an earthquake? Well, the whole earth is about to quake, man. And and, and, it, and in America, it's going to be on fucking fire. All right? Uh, the, as the scripture says, a besom of destruction, man. Imagine a, a, a broom, you know, sweeping, you know, the floor, uh, a, a broom or, or a wall of fire is going to come consume the land, man, and everybody in it. OK. And that's why hey, knowing the terror of the Lord, we, we persuade, man, we got to tell you, man. All right. We got to put the fear of you. How about Shimei Awashai in you, man? Hey, because that's the best thing you could have. All right. The fear of the Lord because it's going to drive away sins. All right. And there's nothing better, you know, in the book of Sirach 23 and 27, it says it, all right? Because, hey, when you fear the Lord, you're going to take heed to his commandment, all right? And you're going to do the Lord's will, man, be about our Father's business, all right? Do the things that please you, how about Shem Yahushai? You see, but these people don't want to hear, hey, well, hey, that's on them. Nonetheless, hey, um, let's keep going. This is uh, Ezekiel 3 and 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speaketh to warn the wicked from the, his wicked way to save his life. You see, we give you the warning so that you can repent. All right? Because right now you can still repent. You could turn back to Yahweh Bashim Shai. You could turn your life around, man. All right? And serve the Lord. You know? Um, let me see where am I at? To save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thy hand. So if we hold on to this truth and we hide it, you know, and we don't bring it out, because we're the light. We're the light in the world right now, man. If we don't let this baby shine, all right, the Lord's going to kill us. And he's going to kill our people, the two-thirds that are wicked, man. You see, and that's why I'm telling you, the fear of the Lord, man. You got to have the fear of the Lord, all right? These people who scoff and scorn, who don't believe, they, they just don't have faith. All right, faith is a gift; it's not given to everybody, man. But they're they're gonna uh, they're gonna what do you call it? Uh, um, realize it when it's too late, you know. 
It says, uh, one day many will hang their heads in shame when they realize the evil they defended and the heroes they ridicule, right? Savior shall come upon my Mount Zion, as it says, right? Because these people are, are lost into the world, man. You know, the two-thirds. You see? But nonetheless, we give them the warning because we fear the Lord. All right, verse 19. But if uh, yet, if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou hast delivered thy soul, you see? So, hey, we try warning you. All right? You know, after two admonitions, after two warnings, we reject, man. We, we're, we don't got no time with it. If you're not getting it, we're moving on. This is all for the elect, okay? Verse 20, again, when a righteous man doth turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, I, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin. And his righteousness, which he had done, shall not be remembered. But his blood will I require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he does not sin, he shall surely live. Because he is warned, also thou hast delivered thy soul. So, you know, I, I, you know, a guy asked me, like, you know, you know, how do we repent? Like, how do you know? Well, you come serve the Lord, man. You let go of all the things that you once did in the world, man. And put off the old man. You see? Like eating pork and shrimp and lobster, committing adultery, all that stuff. You could stop that, man. You could put that away. All right? You could say, fuck this flesh, man. Put it under subjection, man. You know? And fear the Lord. And then the Lord will be pleased with you, man. You see? And here it is. These people, they scoff and scorn us. They don't believe us. Yet, they're going to see with their own eyes, all right, that we are the chosen of Yahweh Bashim Shai in the day uh, when trouble comes and we're straight, all right, and, and when the missiles come and we get beamed up. You see? This is Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him and, and made no account of his labors, you know? And that's us being on the highways and byways, man. All right? Proclaiming this truth, man. All right? To the whole world. Everyone could see us, you know? And telling you, Esau, hey, you're going down. The so-called white man is going down. The Lord's going to uh, break down his kingdom. He's going to destroy it. And those that so-called elites that are building all these bunkers now this year, all right, going into next year, hey, those are going to be the first fruits of slaves, man. You you guys will live. You guys will make it out of it. But you're going right into captivity, man. All right? There's no hiding from the Lord. Okay? Verse 2, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear and shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all that they look for. Because we tell them, look, those those things that Esau calls UFOs, those are the tra the chariots of Israel, man. That's how we're getting up out of here. All right, the, the Lord's coming in a huge fathership. And the elect, we're going to be beamed up all together into it, man. Okay? And those other, the, those little, the little chariots, those are angels, man. They're going to be fucking this place up. All right, destroying. It says, in remember in Daniel, in da uh, uh, the, the archangel Michael's going to stand up and defend us, man. All right? And, and and Michael means like who who is like the most high man? He's coming to fuck shit up. All right, the Lord's gonna give him the green light. You see, our Lord and Savior is gonna give charge to the angels to defend us in these times, man. So we ain't got nothing to worry about. All right, that's why we're praying for shorter days. We're praying for uh, these things to come to pass, all these prophecies, so we could get the fuck up out of here, man. So we could be in the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be here established on earth. And we're going to get new bodies. We're going to live forever. We're never going to die again. All right. We're never going to get sick. We're never going to be oppressed. We're, ne we're never going to be able to sin again, man. Let me say that. We're never going to be able to break the laws, the statutes, and the commandments, which got us into this predicament in the first place. You see? Verse 3, And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, This was he. Whom we had sometimes in derision and a proverb of reproach. Right. All right. Just like when Noah got into the ark and it started raining and all that stuff. They were scratching and crawl, uh, 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 clawing, trying to get into the ark. You see? Now you want to get right. Hey, but it's too late at that time. You know? And that's why this is a spiritual ark. And, and only the elect are going to receive it, man. We're here in the secret dwelling place of the, the Most High. All right. Protected, hedged around from what's to come. You see? The Lord's going to deliver us, man. 
All right, he's not a man that shall lie. You see, he's going. To, his name is going to be magnified in this deliverance. The whole world's going to know Yahweh about Shimei man. All right, every knee shall bow and confess. You see, and that's why they're like, damn, these are the guys that we're talking shit about that we didn't fuck with. We, you know, we didn't deal with them. You know, we fucked them over. You know, all these people that did us wrong, man. They're going to see like, damn. He's he's one of the he's one of the chosen of God. What? Yes. Yeah. Yahweh Bashimi Abishai is my Lord. That's right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's why, hey, we're bold about this, man, because we got the truth, man. All right, and we know it is the truth. You see? This is verse four. We fools accounted his life madness. They thought we were crazy. All right. They they thought we were fucking crazy for doing these things, man. And his end to be without honor. Nah, man. The Lord's going to uh, uh, give us glory. All right? He's going to give us fame. In every land that we've been put to shame, he's going to give us fame, man. You know? Verse 5. How is he numbered among the children of God? And his lot is among the saints. You see? We're the creme de la creme. The 144,000, man. All right? Therefore have we erred from the way of truth, and the light of righteousness have not shined unto us, and the sun of righteousness rose not upon us, you know? Because, hey, they didn't seek out the old paths. They didn't seek out the face of the Lord, all right? They wanted to continue in, in wickedness, man, because Esau Edom gives our people a license to sin, you see? And they don't understand hey, that that license to sin only leads to death, man, you see? This is the only way that, that is to Im immortality is to follow the Lord. All right. Verse seven, we wearied ourselves in the way of wicked of wickedness and destruction. Yet we have gone through deserts where there lay no way. But as the way, but as for the way of the Lord, we have not known it. You see, because it's not given to everybody, man. You know, when the Lord delivered us out of Egypt, hey, we walked in the wilderness for 40 years. All right. Because everyone that was over 20. All right, we're on bullshit, man. They didn't believe the Lord, and they saw everything, man. They saw all the miracles. They saw all the power and wonders of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, man. And yet, they, they talk shit. They murmured, all right? The Lord's not dealing with them, man. He's like, fuck that. You're not coming into my land, all right? So right now, the Lord, when he delivers us, he's going to destroy two-thirds, man. All right, it, it's not, we're not going to be walking in the wilderness waiting for two-thirds to die off. The Lord is going to uh, unalive them with Esau, Edom, man, on this side. And the heathens that are here in America, you're through. And you're in the land of Israel. Hey, those two nations, the Palestinians, those are Arabs, man. And those fake Jews, those Amalekites, all right, that's Esau, Edom, man. They don't. They, both those nations don't belong in there, man. The Lord is going to stomp you out, all right? He's going to utterly destroy y'all, man. But our land is going to be built back up. You best believe that, you see? But America is through. No, no one's going to ever live here again, man. All right. Um, verse 8. What hath pride profited us? A, not a damn thing, man. Because what? Uh, pride cometh before destruction. You see? You get, you're prideful now. The next step is destruction, man. All right. There's no profit in that. Or what good hath riches with our vaunting brought us? You know? Here it is. You know? You know, we got people who are millionaires and billionaires that are jakes. Hey, your riches are not going to save you, man. All right, and that's not even real riches. This fiat currency, that, that's not wealth. That's not money, you see? But our people are fucking simple, man. They're foolish. And they love simplicity, man. All right? Um, verse 9, all those things are passed away like a shadow and as a post that hasteth by. And as the ship that passeth over the waves of the water, which when it is gone by, the trace thereof cannot be found, neither the pathway of the keel in the waves. You see? Because hey, the waves come back together and stuff, you know what I'm saying? And, and you don't know what was there. You don't know which direction the boat was, you know? You know, which way it was going, that is. Um, verse 11. Or as when a bird hath flown through the air, there is no token of her way to be found. But the light air being beaten with the stroke of her wings and parted with the violent noise and motion of them is passed through. And there and afterwards no sign where she went is to be found. Or like as when an arrow is shot at a mark, it parteth the air, which immediately cometh together again, so that a man cannot know where it went through. 
Even so, we in like manner, as soon as we were born, began to draw to our end. You see? Because, hey, the, the, all the righteous that were righteous, they're going to be righteous again. All right? And the wicked of our people, they're going to continue in their fucking wickedness. You see? We come back in our lots, you know? When you read the scriptures and you know and understand reincarnation, to be back in the flesh, we come back in our lots, man. You see? Nothing changes from that, man. All right? But these people, hey, they're through. And had no sign of virtue to show, but were consumed in our own wickedness, man. Because you trust in oppression, man. You trust in Esau, Edom, this damn devil. All right? And, and, and that's what you're blind. You, that's why you're blinded, man. You see? You have not known the way of the Lord. You don't even you don't know the Lord, man. And that's what we glory in is that we know and understand Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. Look, we've committed all this wickedness. Alright? We we surpassed the deeds of the fucking wicked of Esau Edom, man. But yet our Lord is telling us, hey, come back to me, man. I'll clean you up. I got you. Alright? With my blood, I will cover all your sins, man. You see? I will blot them all out. Just return back to me and serve me. And love me, man. Like I loved you. All right? Wait, hey, they're dead asleep, man. Again, this is for the elect. This is Romans 11, chapter 7. I mean, uh, uh, Romans chapter 11, verse 7. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election has obtained it, and the rest were blinded. See, they're blind. All right? They're blind. No matter what we could, you know, no matter what we do, no matter all the artifacts. So hell, we could get, you know, a, a bunch of Edomites to tell, you, yeah, you guys are the Israelites. Our people still won't believe it. <laughs> they can tell you the Lord's name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And they're so-called black men with woolly hair. All right. And they're all about, you know, you guys, the children of Israel. Our people will still not believe it. That's how fucking blinded our people are, man. Okay. Verse 8, according as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber. So, hey, that's something the Lord gave to them. Remember, uh, faith is a gift, right? Not everyone has faith. Not, every, not, not all men have faith, you see? But this is what the Lord gave them, the spirit of slumber, man. You see? Eyes that they should not see and ears that they should not hear unto this day, man. So those same people, they're back here today, man. All right? So that's why, hey, we're... we're our eye is single, man. We're focused on Yahweh Bashim Shai so that we could get to the kingdom, man, so that we could make it on the first go around. This is Revelation 22 and 11. He that is unjust, let him be unjust still. And he which is filthy, let him be filthy still. You see? So, hey, if a man don't want to get right, hey, fuck it, man. Get the fuck away from us, man. You know, go do your own thing and go walk into destruction, man. All right? Let him do his thing. We're not going to sweat him. We're not going to uh, beg him and, and try to break things down. We're not going to... None of that shit, man. We give you two warnings. If you're not getting it, we're moving on, man. You know? That's it. And he that is righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that is holy, let him be holy still. You see? And behold, verse 12. And behold, I come quickly. This is Yahweh Shai right here. I come quickly. And my reward, my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. All right. So the Lord is going to reward the wicked and the righteous, man. All right. We're going to get salvation. All right. We're going to get a hundredfold. All right. For leaving all this stuff behind us, man. All the things that we sacrifice in this life and in all our other lives. The Lord is going to give us a hundredfold, man, with everlasting life, new bodies, and we're going to be. Uh, um, uh, judging the 12 tribes of Israel, man, sitting upon thrones, all right? He's going to give us a crown, all right? An incorruptible crown at that, Joe. Like, what? Come on, baby. <laughs> hey, our Lord liveth, man, and we're going to see him, man. We're going to see him with our own eyes, you see? This is the time that we've been waiting for. When Yahweh Shai returns, he's going to restore the kingdom back to Israel, Joe. All right, that's the times that we're living in, in the end of this damn devil Esau Edom, you see? And with that, I hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Chakurash, 
the bars to the apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and taught his truth and citations to all the Akim, pushing his word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom, Kwam Yasharalam.